2025, the year the ocean changed. It was a year that would be remembered for generations to come, a pivotal moment in the history of our planet's oceans. The ocean is a place of constant motion. Its currents and waves are always in flux, creating a dynamic and ever-changing environment. But 2025 was different. The usual turbulence of the sea took on a new, more ominous character. It was a year of dramatic shifts. The changes were not just noticeable, they were profound and far-reaching. Marine biologists like myself were astonished. We had never seen anything like it in our lifetimes. We observed unusual changes in marine life. Fish and other sea creatures were behaving in ways that defied our understanding. It was as if the ocean was rearranging itself before our very eyes. The marine landscape was shifting in ways that were both fascinating and alarming. From the sun-drenched surface to the twilight zone, things were changing fast. The entire vertical column of the ocean was in flux. This was not just a local phenomenon. The changes were being observed in oceans all around the world. It was happening on a global scale. No part of the ocean was untouched by these transformations. We called it the Great Ocean Shift. This term captured the magnitude and significance of what was happening. Imagine a world where familiar fish disappear. Species that had been staples of the marine ecosystem for centuries were vanishing. Now picture new, exotic species appearing in their place. These newcomers were unlike anything we had seen before. That's what began to happen. Tropical fish were showing up in waters far from their usual habitats. Fish typically found in the tropics were migrating to cooler waters. This migration was unprecedented and puzzling. Cold water species were struggling to adapt. They were facing challenges that threatened their very survival. The ocean was playing a game of musical chairs and the stakes were high. The balance of marine life was being upended. This wasn't just about fish though. Entire ecosystems were affected. The intricate web of marine life was being torn apart and reassembled in new ways. Coral reefs, those underwater cities of life, were transforming. These vibrant ecosystems were undergoing rapid changes. Some were thriving in the warmer waters. The increased temperatures were beneficial to certain types of coral. Others were bleaching and dying. The same warmth that helped some corals was devastating to others. The delicate balance of the ocean was being tested like never before. The interconnectedness of marine life meant that changes in one area had ripple effects throughout the ecosystem. The question on everyone's mind was why? What was driving these unprecedented changes? What was causing this dramatic shift in our oceans? Scientists around the world were racing to find answers, knowing that understanding the cause was the first step in addressing the consequences. To understand the great ocean shift, we need to look at the ocean's circulatory system, its currents. These underwater rivers are powered by wind, tides and differences in water density. They act like conveyor belts, transporting heat, nutrients and marine life across vast distances. And they are incredibly sensitive to changes in temperature. That's where global warming comes in. As our planet heats up, the oceans absorb most of that excess heat. This is causing ocean temperatures to rise, particularly near the surface. Warmer water is less dense, which affects the way currents flow. Imagine a pot of water simmering on a stove. The heat creates currents that move the water around. Now imagine turning up the heat. The currents become stronger and more erratic. This is what's happening in our oceans. As temperatures rise, some currents are speeding up. Others are slowing down or changing direction. These changes are disrupting the normal patterns of ocean life. Fish that rely on currents for migration are finding themselves in unfamiliar territory. Species accustomed to certain water temperatures are struggling to survive. The Great, the great Ocean Shift brought with it a wave of new and unusual visitors to different parts of the ocean. This phenomenon, which began in the early 21st century, saw a dramatic change in ocean currents and temperatures, leading to the migration of many marine species to new and unexpected locations. One of the most fascinating was the rainbow glider, a fish never seen before 2025. This species quickly captured the attention of marine biologists and ocean enthusiasts alike. With its iridescent scales that shimmered in every color imaginable, it was like something out of a dream. The rainbow glider scales reflected light in a way that created a mesmerizing display of colors, making it a true spectacle in the underwater world. This fish, normally found in the warm waters of the South Pacific, was suddenly spotted as far north as California. The sighting of the rainbow glider in these northern waters was a clear indication of the significant changes occurring in the ocean's ecosystems. Another surprise visitor was the thermo squid, a creature that seemed to defy logic. Unlike typical squids that prefer the cold, dark depths of the ocean, the thermo squid thrived in warmer, shallower waters. Squids are generally found in cold, deep water. They are adapted to the high pressure and low temperatures of the ocean's depths. But this peculiar species thrived in the unusually warm waters near the surface. The thermo squid's ability to adapt to such different conditions was a remarkable example of nature's resilience. 
It even had the ability to change colour based on the temperature of its surroundings, flashing bright red when the water was particularly hot. This colour changing ability not only served as a form of communication, but also as a way to regulate its body temperature. Then there was the enigmatic deep sea vent crab, a crustacean that had adapted to life in the most extreme environments on Earth hydrothermal vents. These crabs were known for their resilience and ability to survive in conditions that would be lethal to most other forms of life. These vents, found on the ocean floor, spew out superheated water and toxic chemicals. The environment around these vents is harsh and inhospitable, yet the deep sea vent crab has evolved to not only survive but thrive in these conditions. Yet this crab not only survived but thrived in these conditions. Its ability to withstand extreme temperatures and toxic chemicals made it a subject of great interest to scientists studying extremophiles. What was even more astonishing was that it began appearing in shallower waters, seemingly unaffected by the change in pressure and light. This unexpected migration raised many questions about the adaptability and resilience of marine life. These were just a few of the many new faces that appeared during the Great Ocean Shift. The arrival of these species highlighted the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the ocean's ecosystems. Each one offered the incredible adaptability of life in the ocean. The ability of these species to adjust to new environments and conditions was a testament to the resilience of marine life. But their arrival also raised concerns about the long-term impact on existing ecosystems. The introduction of new species could disrupt the delicate balance of marine life, leading to unforeseen consequences for the ocean's biodiversity. Scientists and marine biologists are closely monitoring these changes, studying the impacts and working to understand the broader implication shift. Their research is crucial in developing strategies to protect and preserve the ocean's ecosystems for future generations. Conservation efforts are underway to mitigate the potential negative effects of these changes. Marine protected areas and habitat restoration projects are being implemented to safeguard the ocean's biodiversity and ensure the health of marine ecosystems. Despite the challenges, there is hope for the future of our oceans. The adaptability and resilience of marine life, combined with dedicated conservation efforts, offer a promising outlook for the preservation of our planet's most vital and The arrival of new species might seem exciting, but it's not without its downsides. While the introduction of new marine life can add to the biodiversity, it often comes with unforeseen consequences that ripple through the entire ecosystem. The ocean is a delicate web of life where each creature plays a crucial role. Every species, from the tiniest plankton to the largest whale, is interconnected in a complex food web that has evolved over millennia. The sudden appearance of new players can disrupt this balance. Invasive species often lack natural predators in their new environment, allowing them to multiply unchecked and outcompete native species. Some species thrived in the changing conditions, outcompeting native species for food and habitat. This can lead to a decline in native populations, which in turn affects other species that rely on them for food or other ecological functions. For example, the rainbow glider, with its voracious appetite, put a strain on plankton populations, a vital food source for many marine animals. The depletion of plankton can have cascading effects throughout the food web. This in turn affected the entire food chain, impacting everything from small fish to large predators. Predatory fish that rely on smaller fish for sustenance may find themselves struggling to find enough food. The thermo squid, with its rapid reproductive rate, quickly multiplied in number. This species adapted well to the warmer waters, giving it a competitive edge over other marine life. This led to competition for resources with other squid species, some of which were already struggling to adapt to the warming waters. The increased competition made it even harder for these struggling species to survive. On the other hand, some species benefited from the great ocean shift. The changing conditions created new opportunities for certain marine life to thrive. Warmer waters led to an increase in certain types of algae, providing an abundance of food for some herbivorous fish. These fish found themselves in a more favorable environment with plenty of food to support their populations. Coral reefs in some regions flourished, expanding their range and supporting a greater diversity of life. The warmer temperatures and increased algae growth created ideal conditions for coral growth. The Great Ocean Shift was a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of life in the ocean. Every change, no matter how it affect the entire ecosystem. The introduction of new species, changes in water temperature, and human activity species, changes in water temperature, and human activities all play a role in shaping the future of our oceans. It was a wake up. must take responsibility and work towards preserving the delicate balance